Is oatmeal the worst thing that you could feed your kid? That's what a headline said on this reel that I saw on Instagram. And I wanna talk about why this isn't exactly true and how headlines like this can be taken way out of context and confuse people when it comes to nutrition. If you're new here, I'm Holly of Renewal Fitness and Nutrition Coaching. I'm a registered dietitian and certified holistic nutritionist. And I like to provide accurate information about nutrition because there's so much confusing and conflicting information out there and it makes it really hard for people to feel healthy and feel confident in their food choices and it doesn't have to be that difficult all the time. So this reel I saw was showing a clip of an interview that was talking about a study that had been done where researchers gave oatmeal, steel cut oats, and omelets to children and then they looked at things like blood sugar and energy and fullness and what the person in the actual interview was saying was that the oatmeal raised blood sugars more than the other two foods and kids were more hungry when they ate the oatmeal now this is not surprising oatmeal is completely carbohydrates so if you eat a lot of oatmeal compared to something like an omelet yes you're gonna have very different blood sugar responses Protein and fat, which are found in eggs, do not have such a big impact on blood sugars. So yes, it's obvious that oats are going to raise a kid's blood sugar more than an omelet will. We also know that carbohydrates are not as filling as protein and fat. So again, yes, it makes sense that people who ate oatmeal would feel hungry sooner and potentially overeat more in the day because they weren't getting that satiety and fullness from protein and fat found in eggs. So there's nothing really wrong about the study or about the interview that was in the reel that was all fine and dandy. The problem was this particular Instagram account that put their own headline on it saying oatmeal is the worst thing that you can feed your kids. Actually what the study was saying that when compared to steel cut oats and an omelet, oatmeal was the less preferred option because it had a higher spike in blood sugar and didn't keep kids full as long. What the problem was, was that deceptive headline that they put on top of the reel that made it sound like oatmeal is this horrible food and you should never feed it to your children. That's not true. It would be far worse to feed your kids continually cereal or bagels or muffins or any of these highly processed white flour foods that are even less filling contain no fiber because at least oats have fiber. So there are plenty worse foods that you could feed a child and the same things apply to teenagers and adults. So this is just a little reminder to use caution and use critical thinking when you see these types of headlines and these bold claims, there's usually a lot more that you need to be thinking about as to what is actually being said and how is someone potentially taking it out of context and making a food sound worse than it is or making a big, big bold claim that actually doesn't really apply if you were to look at the actual science and the research. So I hope this is helpful to you. If it was, give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos. I will continue to do more of these as I see these very confusing nutrition claims online. So if you see any or confused about them, please let me know. You can post them in the comments or send them to me at renewalfitcoach at gmail.com. And I would love to bring a little bit more clarity to make nutrition less confusing for you. If you're someone who's confused about what to eat, I do have several meal plans on my website that you can purchase that are based on whole and natural foods, nutrient dense foods, things that are good for many people because there's also a variety of meal plans. There's vegetarian, there's gluten-free, dairy-free, kind of a general health. So depending on what your need, I have a lot of plans online that may be helpful to you in figuring out what a healthy diet looks like. Thanks for watching and until the next video, blessings on your health and fitness journey.